Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm really excited to be reviewing for you the Thrasher. I have two different Thrashers here. I have a yellow one right here, and this yellow one weighs 174 grams according to the number on the back, and then this orange one here weighs 173 grams according to the number on the back. So I'm curious to see how these fly. From what I've heard, they're really straight and really nice flyers. So I am excited to see how these compare to The Undertaker because The Undertaker was one of my favorite. That went straight into my bag, so it'll be interesting to see how these fly. So let's go out and throw them. Here we go. Welcome to Hole 8 at Arboretum Spiker Park. I'm going to be throwing the Thrasher. Really excited to throw this disc. I've never thrown these, so let's see how they fly. I'm real excited. All right, so I threw that one with quite a bit of power, dead flat. And as you can see, it turned uh, quite a bit right there. So this one, I'm gonna give some hyzer and see if a hyzer flips. Here we go. All right, so that tree behind the basket is probably at about 400, maybe a little bit less, but there's a second pin position out there that it's it's at 435, and it's beyond the tree, obviously, but uh, if you could see that pin position, that disc, had the tree not been there, probably would have been about 450, maybe. Let's see how the other one goes. All right, so that one was smashed. Uh, I am not a distance thrower, but that was probably around 450, 460. I mean, that went well beyond the tree. I'll probably go walk the camera over there to show you, but uh, yeah, let's go take a look at them. All right, so here's that orange thrasher. Here's that big tree, and there's the basket. So as you can see, in relation to the tee pad, it would probably be around 20 feet past, I'd say. So this one, probably about 390, 400 or so. Now let's go take a look at that yellow one. So that was the big tree there. Oh, the yellow one didn't get as far as I thought. It's right over here. So in relation to the tree, oh, probably linearly about 50 feet past, maybe 40, 40 or 50. So about 440 this drive was, which is not bad. As you can see, the tee pads are down there. So. All right, let's see what a couple more drives will do. So here are a few more throws with the Thrasher. I really like the flight of this disc. At first, I honestly did not really care for the flight too much. Uh, it seemed like it was pretty flippy for me, and I am not exactly a power thrower. But after throwing it a few times and realizing that there was a slight headwind, which was flipping it over a little bit more than it was intended to, I realized that this disc actually could be a very good potential long distance thrower. I mean, the disc will go a mile when it's put on the right angle with the right speed and the right wind. So this disc will crush for you if you even if you don't have that much power you will still get fantastic throws with this disc and uh, so I would recommend this to lower power players uh, players that have a higher arm speed that really want that nice long turnover this is a great disc for you I did throw some Anheuser's with this disc and they held the line perfectly I mean they just carried the whole way and just kind of eased out and landed flat at the end. So this is a great disc for people who really like to throw those long turnovers or those nice flippy hyzer shots. Just to recap, 
The Thrasher is a 0.4 stability rated driver. It's very fast, it's nice and flippy, great for big arms and slow arms alike. Big nice turnovers and those winds that are a little tricky. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you would. Comment if you would like to see something special from me in the future. So until next time, my name's Stephen Kane. So long for now.